Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Dave. I'm a licensed podiatrist. I'd like to thank you for watching my video on my Frugal Foot YouTube channel. What are textbook signs and symptoms? You know, we use that a lot in medicine and I think we're taught this in medical school to, to look for the textbook signs and symptoms of a problem. So for example, if someone comes in with heel pain, plantar fasciitis, the textbook signs and symptoms would be pain on the bottom of the heel, primarily in the morning, arising from bed or after getting up from a period of rest with improvement after ambulation, no history of any kind of trauma. Those are the textbook signs of plantar fasciitis. Well, it's important not to just rely on those textbook signs. And you see textbook signs and symptoms a lot of times on the internet. So if you Google a, a problem, if you do some sort of research on a foot problem, you will oftentimes see those signs and symptoms that are considered textbook. But medicine is not cookie cutter. And so you have to be very, very careful. And that's where having the experience of a doctor who sees these signs and symptoms day in and day out can tell the difference oftentimes. So I've had patients come in my office with heel pain on the bottom of their heel and they give me the signs and symptoms. It sounds like it. We do a couple tests, but there's just something that doesn't sit right. And I, I really can't explain that to you as a clinician. It's just experience, but something just kind of just doesn't sit right with the presentation. And you order a test that might be out of the, out of the norm and it may light up, which might give you a different diagnosis, which ends up being the right diagnosis. And so I just urge caution when trying to diagnose yourself in, you know, on internet programs, such as YouTube, like this. I mean, you know, a lot of times you go, you watch a video like mine and you may think it's something and it's, it's not. And that's why I always tell you, it's really important not to rely on videos like mine as a substitute for a visit to your doctor. Same thing with Google. Don't rely on that. It's important to go seek out medical help when you need it. So, hey, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you like medicine, if you like videos about medicine and feet. I'm Dr. Dave. I'll see you on my next video.